welcome to Doodle Mania with Greg. I'm Greg and we're going to be doing some drawings today. So pull up your, some paper and pull up some of your favorite drawing tools and we're going to make some pictures. Are you ready? We're going to turn a word into a picture because why not? All right, the word that we're going to use is boy. And if you've got paper and a pencil sitting there watching, you can write boy really quick. Try to write it a lot like this because I'm going to show you how you can turn that word into a picture. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the circular part of the B and the circular part of the O, which is the entire O. We're going to turn those into glasses that have an eyeball behind them. So I'm going to go ahead and draw little tiny eyeballs behind and what I'm doing is, is drawing a little black circle with a little white circle inside it. If you leave a little white circle inside it, it makes it look more like an eyeball. All right, so we've got glasses by connecting the circles and then by running another line out to this Y over here, which is going to become the hair in front of his ear. So I've drawn a little ear and I draw a little nose and this Y tail I'm going to bring all the way around there and the bottom of the B I'm going to bring down to it and that way we've got a chin and we can see that a mouth goes in between the chin and the nose um, and if you're feeling creative and silly and you want to do something really fun give him some teeth and a tongue and some cheeks that mouth doesn't have to be just one simple little line you can be silly with it it's okay I'm also going to add in some eyebrows on this boy and now I'm going to take the top of this Y and I'm going to go up and I'm going to part his hair. And I'm going to give him a little swoopy hairstyle. I'm going to go back to the part. I'm going to come down. And kind of that's a horrible old 1970s, 1980s hairstyle, but if you want to do something different, you're free to do it. Uh, I'm going to put a little neck, which is two lines and a shadow underneath. And then we'll put a collar and some shoulders. We're going to break up his body with two lines that makes sleeves. So now we have taken the word boy and we've drawn a boy. And if you've got three or four sheets of paper, you can do it three or four different times. You come up with a whole crowd of boys and see how many different kinds of boys you can draw. Enjoy.